Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is a custom Tableau workshop. In this workshop, I'll be showing you how do you switch dimensions and measures using dynamically using parameters. So this is a very useful technique. So what I have is I have the sales data, so I'll also post a link and also make sure to check out my introduction to Tableau videos just to get started. And we're gonna do something pretty simple. Say for example, we have cus uh, not customer name, let's say customer segment, and we have sales. But and if I, for example, wanted to see profit, I would have to go and change profit that way. But we know that when you export, if you have the desktop version of a tableau, you have the opportunity to export this as a package. Well, I'm, or even when you post it on server, like how do you make it dynamic? Because a user won't be able to change the measures once. Um, once they're posted or once it's set in format. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a measure or no, create a parameter. So parameter is like a variable. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go, we're going to call it, we're going to call it, call it switch measure, something pretty simple. And then we're going to make it data type string. And then we're going to list out the data types that we want. So we're going to have sales. We're going to have profit. And we are going to have discount. And remember that you have to remember what the the capitalization is like because you have to use the exact word as is. And then we're going to right click and we're going to go create calculated field. And we're going to call this measure, um, pick your measure. And then we're going to use this and we're going to call it, we're going to do when. Oh, sorry, not when case, and then we're gonna go when, and we're gonna go sales, then sales, when profit, then profit, when discount, then discount, and then we're gonna end it off with an end like we do for uh, most conditional uh, fields. Press OK. Then what we're going to do is right click the parameter, go show parameter control. And then what you'll see here is now I have a new calculated field measure called pick your measure. And we're going to drop it there. And then what you'll see is you'll have the opportunity to dynamically change what your parameter is. Super useful, super helpful. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for uh, for the dimension as well. So what we're going to do is very similarly, we're going to go create calculate, or not create calculate field. We're going to create a parameter and we're going to call this switch uh, dimensions. I guess dimension. We're going to pick string. We're going to list it out and we're going to go customer segment. We're gonna, we are going to go Product category. Show this out of the way so you can see it. And we are going to go region. Perfect. You can also paste from a clipboard if you want. And we're going to do the same thing. Create calculate field. We're going to go pick your dimension. And we're going to go case. And we're going to go when customer segment, then and we can just type this out. And then we go when um, product category, then uh, I'm just going to, and then we're going to go when region. Then region, and we're gonna go end. Press OK, and now what you'll see up here is now we have a dimension, new dimension, and we are going to change the parameter control, and that's how you use parameters to switch your measure and switch your 
parameters. So hopefully you learned something. Don't forget to check out the other videos I have posted on this channel. If you have any ideas that you want to suggest, topics that you want me to cover, feel free to post them in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and, and I look forward to speaking to you next time.